All right. You want to take us off since That's I can't say it. because you don't want to say it. You don't want you can't say it. Six rural, rural areas that you should consider moving to when coming to Utah, or at least looking at when you're looking for yeah. a rural I would spot. say northern Utah, right? Northern Utah, yes, yeah. correct. Kind of our stomping ground, our domain. So the reason we're making this is we get a lot of people that are relocating here, and they're like, they're looking at multiple valleys, areas, and... I just felt like a podcast covering some of these areas would be helpful. They want to be able to get to a Walmart, but be able to have a funny farm at the same time. Yeah. You know, type yeah. of thing. So within, what, 20, 30 20, minutes? 30 minutes to groceries and yeah. civilization, but I also want to be able to pee out my back deck and chew guns. There you go. Kind of, you know, or, or you know, have my Highlander cows and goats. Yep. Okay. So number one, Cache Valley, which I get it. Logan is like a dense uh, city. But we're talking like the southern, northern, or western end of Cache Valley. So you have like up north, you have Smithfield area. And there's a bunch of like Lewiston and little areas off of that. My parents actually just moved. They're moving to Dayton, Idaho, which is just Just across the the border. And I really like it up there. Tons of farmland. But you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Like to get to the airport. You're you're far enough away, but close enough. Yeah. For us to get there from Eden, we're two hours. So. Yeah. But yeah. but if they wanted to get into Logan, they're 30 minutes, you know? To, to have a nice date night or a, yeah. you know, a few more restaurant options or some better shopping. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. I, Cash Valley's <clears throat> really blown up in the center, like in that Logan, Utah, but all of your fingers are still very rural. Yeah. So my favorite areas, you have Paradise in the southern end. You have Menden, Avon, I guess attractions or things that people go there for. You have Hiram, Hiram Dam which is a little reservoir up there that people can boat on. Never been there, actually, boating or anything. Mm -hmm. In Avon, there's Porcupine Reservoir, which is a really fun, like, kayak, paddleboard area. I don't think you can have motorized vehicles on it. It's it's similar to Kazi. And then you have Beaver Creek Ski Resort, which is up... Logan Canyon. Yep. Everything that's close. So those first things were like are like right close to those areas. But then you have the ski resort. It's probably 40 minutes. Yep. Bear Lakes. Bear Lake is 45, yep. 50 an hour probably. Bear Lake's amazing. I love yeah. Bear Lake. And it's very close, but also still far enough away. You're not getting Bear yeah. Lake's bit traffic. So Cache Valley, pros to Cache Valley. It's just, it's a nice quaint valley. The cons are... They get an inversion really bad in the wintertime to where like the whole, like Logan, especially you're just covered in like a smog on the really cold days. Like, and it doesn't leave very often. So there's a pretty bad inversion there. The traffic is getting pretty nasty in, in, in downtown Logan. Anyway, Cache Valley is amazing. Great spot. If you're looking to relocate, I'd say values are, this is the cheapest area that you could relocate to yep. and find something there. So as Correct. far as property values, number two coming down is Ogden Valley. This encompasses Eden Huntsville Liberty. I live in Liberty currently. My favorite things about this area, you're surrounded by three ski resorts, Powder Mountain, Nordic Valley, and Snow Basin. And there's Pine View Reservoir yep. right in the middle. And tons and tons of leisure activities to do. Trails for miles, ton, tons of outdoor activity in the Ogden Valley. Downside to Ogden Valley, no restaurants, no nightlife. I mean, there are a few restaurants, but there's not not really a nightlife. That's a pro for me. And then just the accessibility, you got to go through Ogden Canyon, yep. the divider trappers to get to it, which can be pretty hairy at times. Correct. Okay, number three is Morgan County. Oh, well, let's back to Ogden Valley. What expense to live there? You're on the higher end. It's a little more resort fill, a lot more vacation destination area. Yeah, you're so. around a million plus or minus, so... Morgan County. See, I I love Morgan County because you are still farm, very rural to the definition, but we're 45 minutes to Salt Lake Airport, Mm -hmm. 20 minutes to in any direction to Lost Creek, East Canyon, all that other stuff. Tons Mm -hmm. of stuff to do in Morgan, and it still has that small town feel. You're you're close to uh, Snow Basin, Pine View. Yep. The thing that I I don't love about Morgan is there's just not a lot of public trails and public. Yeah, like it's hiking and biking and Morgan stuff like that. is like 85% privately owned yeah. land. Not yeah. a lot of, we don't have a lot of amenities like that. But it's a beautiful area. It is. Yep. And then that's, a, that's a plus for some people that yeah. private. Yeah. Uh, what's the medium price to get into Morgan? You're about 750, 600 to 750. Okay. Colville is the next one. Just heading, heading up the canyon away. You know, you got your Hennifer, Hoytsville, Colville. What's great about that? Same thing. You're starting to get a little bit farther away from Morgan. You're getting 
actually some areas are a little bit cheaper. Some areas are very high end, but it you're cooling down. You're not as hot, a lot more green right next to Echo Reservoir. You can get up to the UNS quick. It's crazy in like Kennefer and Colva because you get a lot of the red rock. It's, yep. it's drier, not as green, but mm -hmm. still pretty. And there's a lot of boom happening there. My mother-in-law lives in Hennifer, and it's there. There's a lot happening in in that valley going up towards Colville and Hoytsville. Yep. Cons there. I think the same thing is when you start getting away. Is it restaurants and amenities, or yeah. you just don't have a lot? You know, you've. It, it feels more deserty there. There's less tree, like pine trees and and stuff like that. I guess if you go up Chalk Creek, there's a lot. Yeah, I, I it's not it's not near like the Ogden Valley and stuff. It, yeah, yeah, it's more your sagebrush or your high desert. Yeah, scenery. All right, Colville. Next we have, I don't know the name of this valley, but it's Oakley, Camas, Francis, Woodland area. It's kind of a couple valleys that wrap around from yeah. Colville into kind of Park City area like mm -hmm. that. You're, so this area, you're super close to Park City. You can jet up Oakley area, or I guess it's Francis, get into the uh, UNAs. Yep. We'd always go to the Camus or the Oakley Rec Center. They have a sweet indoor pool. Yep. And but this is a very wooded, beautiful valley. Like I, I love this area. Sold multiple properties there. My uncle has a house there on the Weber River. Amazing spot. Me, Definitely off the beaten path though. Yeah, but you're still like you can get into Park yeah, City. Yeah, I guess area Park City minutes. if you're calling it. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And so median sales price, you're you're up there, just right around a million or just over for the the Oakley area. Okay, next one is the Heber Valley. So, I mean, are we are we considering Park City? We're not calling it rural no. anymore, are we? We're gonna no. unclassify that yeah. ourselves. Yeah, this is more Midway, Heber, and Wallsburg. But remember, we're talking this. These are six rural areas that. They're, they have stuff. They're still community, but you're still that small kind of I mean, funny farm vibe that you can have. Yeah, to it, a, to a high end though. Yeah, I would say Heber is definitely getting more built out Midway too. But there's a lot of history. Like Midway has a lot of Swedish architectural designs. Sure, Midway is exploding. I have some clients there. Have done some deals. Values are crazy. Hebers. Do, do we want to do we want to veto Heber off our six and call it the five rural areas? In the no, room? I think we keep it there. I like I like because if you go into like the outskirts of Heber, like Wallsburg for sure is like pretty rural. I guess, I guess that's true. It's just it's a lot like Logan, just condensed more in the center and yeah, areas. Yeah, but if are, you go outside, there still is some ground, a lot of farmland and stuff like that. But I would say if we were to veto one of these off, Heber would probably it's, be... It's going to be the next one that gets doesn't cut from the list. Yeah, okay. yep. And your, again, median sales price in, the, in those areas is right around a million. So these are kind of our top six rural <laughs> areas to consider when moving to northern Utah. Each one of these valleys, like they're kind of their own little valley. Still own a lot little, of farm. Own little ecosystem too. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Especially Cache Valley. Like they have their own like little economy up mm -hmm. there. It's crazy. Their own jobs, workforce, everything. But if I were moving to Northern Utah, the, if we were to have a discussion, these are the top, you know, six areas that I would say, if you wanted to farm fill, that okay. I, would, I would say consider. Quick question. You live in Ogden Valley now? Uh-huh. Which one are you moving to if you're moving to Utah? Knowing what you know now, you can't choose Ogden Valley. What's your next pick if you had to move to Utah and your really? family? Where would you go? Money's not an object. Money's just, not an just object. Just for happiness and the style. I would go to Oakley or Paradise in Cash Valley. You got to choose one. Come on. You got to no, uh, uh, choose one. Probably Oakley. Probably Oakley. See, and I'm, I'm Cash Valley. Really? really? Yeah. I've just, I've been up there a lot more lately and I've just, Back when Logan was smaller, because don't get me wrong, I'm a country boy through and through, but I, I like to be fancy and wine and dine. I like to go to a nice steakhouse or sushi, and, and Logan has all that stuff now. Yeah, but so. Oakley has that too close to Park City. Yeah, but it's Park City. Yeah. yeah you know, I feel like Cash Valley has it in and of itself. We don't have to borrow Salt Lake or yeah. just like Morgan. I love Morgan live there now, but I got to go to Ogden or Salt Lake mm -hmm. or Layton to get it, get that. Yeah. Cash Valley has it. Right. Plus the fun I like. Yep. Well, hopefully this helps. I mean, this is a, a quick list. Um, we can definitely go more into depth into each one of these, but just some areas to consider if you're looking at relocating here to Utah or if you're here and just wanting a little bit more elbow room, definitely check these areas right. out. Let us know. Reach out to us because we have tons of information on these especially. 
We'll give you all the dirty deeds. Thanks, guys.